I had to make a little run to town, so I thought this was a great time to communicate. Leave no trace. That's right, I actually wanted to make sure that you guys knew I'm about to throw in the trash. Now, why is that important and why should you care? Well, a lot of places that I go are absolutely beautiful, but people don't respect the simple principles of taking out their trash. Instead, they throw it down on the ground and it's absolutely nasty. And then that ruins the public space for everybody because a few people couldn't decide just to put their trash where it was supposed to go. So uh, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do the right thing. We're gonna put our trash in the trash can. Yeah, so uh, it's called Leave No Trace. Basically, anytime that you go into an outdoor space, it just means if you pack it in, you pack it out. Now, sometimes they have trash receptacles for you to use there. Sometimes they don't. In this case, we put it in a public trash receptacle because we're good people. Yeah, so that's trash in, trash out. That's Leave No Trace. And that's really, really important. So uh, now back to our regularly scheduled program. Super happy I decided to come north last night because I totally avoided a really bad storm and found a place in Jackson. And on my way here, I found this place. Yep, it's a mound. It's actually Pinson State Park, Pinson Archaeological State Park to be exact. And at this state park, you will notice that this has a door and we're about to go in so we can find out a little bit more about this place. So let's go. Rivers were basically the highways for the Native Americans and they used these kind of canoes and that's why a lot of their travels aren't really documented because they were in canoes. So there weren't footsteps or trails. So uh, yeah, they had highways too. Okay, so I had no expectation of when I came out to the Pinson Mounds to find so many cool facts out that kind of relate to other things that I've been doing and uh, I picked up a welcome to Tennessee and a state park passport I have a national park one also and I'm gonna get my first stamp on it today a little bit later whenever I go someplace else pretty cool but look at this mound yeah we're about to go out here I'm going to uh, show you a little bit more about this place and what makes it so unique but one thing that i did learn during the video as we walk i'll talk is uh that these mounds here were primarily not used as burial mounds they were used as ceremonial mounds they followed the sun basically so they have one that would point toward the solstice they have another one that would point toward something that has to do with the lunar phase. It's pretty cool because they would come out here and they would do their rituals and ceremonies and they said in the video possibly even like their weddings and things like that. It's pretty neat. Really, really cool. Indians and the culture that they had were such a unique Thing, and we could probably learn a lot about things if we would just go back to some of the values that they had when it came to appreciation of the land. Let's go check it out. So the most damaging thing to the archaeological record of these mounds and the societies that went with them 
are actually the modern day people. We as people are super destructive. So before these things are realized to be something that were sacred or had historic reference, a lot of times people would go in and plow down the land so they could plant stuff. And they'd take these beautiful pieces of history and just destroy them, like completely. So much like whenever we went to see the Mississippians, this place has lost a lot of the historic information just because people have destroyed it. So this one mound right here is a huge asset. Short walking trail, which is pretty nice. It's only the teaser for what is to come going up this huge, huge, did I say huge enough? Mound right here. This one makes the one that we saw in Arkansas look like baby steps. This was the largest one according to archaeological record and in order for you to be way up there you had to be somebody pretty important because only those who were pretty important could do any of the ceremonies on the top of this big guy. So uh, let's go. center and this is the view in every direction trees and beautiful sky That was pretty epic right there. A beautiful, amazing views. And I can only imagine that with it being so high above everything, that whatever significance that that particular mound has, that uh, it was pretty substantial because that thing was tall. I'm gonna get on the road because I have another really interesting historic stop for today and I want to make sure that I make it there. So I'm going to get in the car and let's go. Now I'm just going to say I respect the Native American culture so much that before I went here, I wouldn't have ever thought of one of those mounds to be anything but a sacred burial ground and thus a place I didn't need to go near. But today I learned that there were so many more things that these mound builders used these for. And I feel like I have a better understanding now of this culture, which is really, really important, I think, because you have to get to know more about those around you instead of just being ignorant like I was, thinking everything was a burial site. It's not, they actually are religious sites, ceremonial sites, sites of importance, also all to be respected. But now I can view them as a place where I can come and understand a little bit more rather than just being kind of like, okay, I'm kind of scared of this place a little bit because uh, it's a burial ground. But um, yeah, so Pinson did that for me today and I'm really happy it did. Who would have thunk it? I think if you've ever traveled with me before, you know the importance and relevance of my leggings and how they are a part of me. And I just had a really unfortunate situation happen. I was up on that little tower back there at the mound and I bumped into a little nail and ripped my pants. <gasps> oh no! So, 
gonna have to change into a different pair of leggings and uh, have a ceremony for these. That's so sad. <laughs> I know I'm probably the only person who cares about that, but I'm one gangster too. Let us just take a moment to mourn the loss of my leggings. Thought we get to see forever, but for even gone away, it's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. So let today be a couple of lessons for us. The first of which being just because it's a public space doesn't mean it's always safe. They use construction materials just like everything else and things happen so yeah you always want to be careful. Number two always pack extra clothes. I'm obviously traveling for an extended time so I have a suitcase but if I was just making this a day trip, I would now be walking around with a very uncomfortable hole on my backside. So uh, always pack a change of clothes. On that note, we're on the road and headed to our next event. Our next space is going to be really interesting. I just hope that it doesn't start raining.